the biggest UK military operation since Iraq and Afghanistan is underway in the West African state of Mali. 300 British soldiers have joined part of what the UN is calling the most dangerous peacekeeping mission in the world. Nearly 250 UN troops have lost their lives since the mission began eight years ago. Mali is suffering from a rise in violent Islamist extremism coupled with severe poverty. It has a scattered population of 20 million people and the size of the country alone makes it very difficult to counter the threat with limited security forces. The BBC's defence correspondent Jonathan Beale and cameraman James Anderson are the first broadcast journalists to join British troops on patrol. British troops are back in harm's way in their most dangerous deployment since the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. This time as part of a UN peacekeeping mission in Mali. A country in crisis, suffering extreme poverty, the impact of climate change, weak governance and a surge in violent extremism. More than 300,000 people have been forced to leave their homes. We're then looking to try and understand any of the sorts of terrorist activity, if it's got any sort of security concerns in the area, and try and identify that, as well as looking for anyone who does look suspect. We were among the first journalists to join them out on patrol. They're on high alert. They soon notice a group of men leaving on motorbikes. Groups of uh, five to six motorcyclists um, with not so as soon as they've seen us. It's just a bit suspicious. Strangers coming through the area. And... They know extremists have been here. But for the locals, there's often a fear in speaking out. They're reluctant to say what the issues are, which suggests that there is some sort of fear of re reprisals if they are starting to open up of the true issues they do face. And it's kind of giving them a sort of an understanding and being a presence to provide that security. Jihadist groups have been conducting a reign of terror. This, a propaganda video of the group calling itself Islamic State in the Greater Sahel. They're in competition with other extremists linked to al-Qaeda. These long-range reconnaissance patrols are designed to gather intelligence to protect the local population and to drive the extremists out. But they're having to cover a vast area of thousands of miles. And the question is, can a few hundred British troops really make a difference? Tens of thousands have become refugees in their own country. These families have left their villages for the relative safety of a nearby town. The victims of the violence. They said they killed some of uh, their family, most of their family. They killed, they killed most of their family. Anything we can do to allow them to live a normal life free from fear of rape, murder or robbery uh, is a success for us. They're having to work alongside Mali's own security forces who've been accused of committing human rights abuses. But they're taking casualties too. 30 Malian soldiers were killed in an ambush here just a few weeks ago. So what if the British become the target? If someone's going to attack us, we are not going to sit and watch them do that. We will defend ourselves. And if someone is going to attack or is about to attack the local nationals, then our job is to protect them. And if protecting them involves uh, using violence, then we will use violence. The UK is committed to this peacekeeping mission for at least three years. But thousands of French troops have been fighting in a separate counter-terrorism mission here since 2013. For Britain, the question is, can it really help bring peace to Mali? Or is this another long, unwinnable war? Jonathan Beale, BBC News, Eastern Mali.